Hello and welcome to another edition of Olia's radio show. In this show I'm going to review my Ford Sony car radio. The car itself is a 2008 Ford Focus and the radio being an original one it comes also from that same year, the year 2008. So it is pretty old, this unit is pretty old and uh, you can see that it has no touch screen no infotainment, no sync, and nothing like that. The only way to connect it to your cell, uh, to your uh, cell phone, say, is by using this button, using a simple auxiliary input, and it is activated by this button. You press it, you get your auxiliary input. You press it again, you get your CD playing. And uh, the socket for the auxiliary is uh, in the glove box and I have, a, I have a cord connected to that which stays on like that and then I simply plug it into headphones out on my phone say and in fact I can even plug it into my Sony PSP console and drive uh, my hearts away to soundtrack from Liberty City Stories or something like that there's a video for that on my YouTube channel you can go there and see it well first of all I'm going to say a few words about this unit as a radio and secondly maybe I will mention a few uses of it for amateur radio like DX and something like that you can do it here well like I said the radio is pretty old but once you prepare to deal with the fact that it has no sync, no infotainment, no G GPS, no touch screen everything else is really there that you need it has it is an mp3 player a CD player and I don't know about your country, but here in Russia we get uh, uh, not only audio CDs, we also get something that is called MP3 CDs. And typically an MP3 disc, in fact, can hold the entire body of work of an artist, like say of Bowie or whoever, in fact, the entire, all songs. And this radio allows you to cycle between uh, folders and repeat folders, repeat tracks, repeat uh, discs so it is pretty good from that particular respect and the time when I ordered it when I ordered this car in the year 2008 I could also uh, opt for an, for an upgrade and then it would have uh, uh, now if I did had I done it at the time it would have now that connectivity to your cell phone which would be operated by this button and probably this button and then there are numerical keys then I would be able to dial uh, to dial you know the number I need right from this uh, system and I guess there would be a microphone console somewhere here would have been had I ordered it well it doesn't matter really it doesn't have it and let's deal with that it has also a lot of other functions like traffic announcement it sets the clock I think uh, bo both both for the radio and for this unit here and uh, there's also something called uh, DSP and I'm pretty sure that it means uh, digital sound processing and in fact I'm not sure well in fact the DSP technology is currently used on many amateur radios to ensure good reception and uh, sound I'm not quite sure that it is the same uh, DSP well but anyway and uh, it also has a 6 CD changer and you see these 6 icons which indicate that all cities uh, all places are taken in that CD changer and some of the cities I have to tell you have been here for years actually and my favorites and um, well uh, there's another thing to mention here and that is where these numerical keys come in handy if you disconnect your battery in the car then you won't be able to use your Sony radio at least until you input a security code which is found typically on some kind of sticker uh, which originally maybe comes in the glove box or maybe it is in your uh, car radio manual and I had a problem like that myself because uh, my uh, manual for this radio in fact apparently came from another car so there was a sticker there was a code but that was not the code when I input it I basically this thing went on went on lockdown and I had to drive to my uh, dealer uh, and then they fixed it for me they discovered the key code 
and you have to know that uh, how you do it you take this thing out and apparently the correct code is written somewhere on the back now as far as uh, using this radio uh, in the Xing activities is concerned it has a uh, an FM receiver and an AM receiver which you turn on by pressing the radio button here we we are on the AM band and it is good to know that this this radio divides in fact the AM band into long wave uh, section proper and medium wave I will do a little bit of order tune you see it is medium wave already well it doesn't uh, well it doesn't affect anything but it is good to know that it can do that it properly differentiates I think and as far as the as far as the FM receiver is concerned it is pretty capable and in fact there's a video on my YouTube channel of me doing a, an FM band scan here in Moscow about 40 50 stations and the radio is pretty good I can tune in into station here in Moscow and then drive away 100 kilometers away and still be able to listen to that station that means that the reception on this thing is pretty good the only difference is that when you are that away from a station from an FM station you won't be able to retune, to retune into it by using the auto tune because only local stations will be picked up there's the right limitations of course and it has no direct frequency input of course and that is well but still you don't usually expect something like that on a car radio now as far as the AM band is concerned it is pretty good I was able to the receiver is pretty good I was able to uh, listen to a Ukrainian public radio broadcasting broadcasting from the south of Ukraine which is over a thousand kilometers away from this location in Moscow then I was also in fact I submitted a reception report and I got a QCL from them uh, all using this radio and it is also on my YouTube channel I was also able to tune in to a Iranian radio station and even which is even farther away and then I was able to tune into a Moldovan station from the Transnistria district uh, which is also about uh, 100 and uh, 1500 kilometers away so it is pretty good and I've been using it in some DXing activities you can see it on my YouTube channel you can read about it in my radio blog and I, I give you the links uh, to that in the description to this video overall my review uh, the consensus here the consensus of me here is that uh, this radio is pretty good it is a Sony you know and it is pretty good once you're prepared to deal that it is kind of old no infotainment no GPS no touch screen no sync but otherwise uh, it is still pretty good and there are even older radios out there cassette plays something like that this one plays CDs at least so it is pretty usable well thank you for watching and see you again on my channel yes we can <laughs>